Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna have a bit of a look today at what D2 steel can do. So this knife is the Kizil Yar Biker, and this is a D2 steel flipper knife. Uh, lend, loaned, learned to the channel by Killer Deegan, frequent commenter, uh, quite a prolific YouTuber as well. The subs will catch up soon, I'm sure. Link to his channel down below. At any rate, uh, KD has sent me this Kizil Yar Biker, which I have now gone and put a crazy sharp Lansky edge on. Ooh. Makes a little paper curl. So, what we're going to do is see how much rope this can cut before it no longer slices paper. Uh, so, I guess you could call this another unleashed test. Um, not much more to say. You all know my testing medium twisted sisal rope, paper, knife, chopping board which is wearing the knife out the most, who knows, but it's the same every time. So, uh, D2 Unleashed, uh, I hope it's a good one, the Kizzle Yar, I've, um, actually I did test it on the uh, last Kizzle Yar knife I had, and it was okay, so, should be good, let's uh, see what it does. Got to about 53 cuts, and then I felt it really just stop. Um, almost really hard to get through the through the rope. Um, this is a 20 degree um, Lansky edge. It's the same as all my other sort of unleashed knives have, and you can see on there. I hope um, it is actually like a fair. It's a fair mirror polish, and it's still like super crazy sharp down here, but it is really really dull just here where I was using it really suddenly and um, this should cut a lot longer than that um, it's the same angle just using this you know you've seen me do it um, with other knives just using the 20 degree um, thing so uh, 53 I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna sharpen it again on the Lansky or bring back the edge to crazy sharp again and then give it another try uh, and then I'll work sharp it and see if it does better or worse with that so uh, a bit strange I must say it just all of a sudden lost its lost its oomph um, on the rope very, very quickly. Um, yeah, felt a bit like that, um, the zero tolerance that I had that time, the zero, four, zero 450, yeah. Just, um, yeah, very bit strange there. So let's, um, let's try and fix it. seem right here um, so that's the second time with a 20 degree Lansky edge that in every other knife doing this exact same test has seen really good results on most steel so say the slightness steel on my line steel same rope same board um, a thicker knife really um, and everything did like you know 180 passes with the same edge um, something's wrong here um, I'm not sure it could be just this knife maybe it's something I'm doing wrong but I've been doing the same test for a long, long time now, and it's all the same stuff. Like, it's the same motion. Um, it cuts really well on the first few, and then it just kind of goes dull. And you can see, it's like a, it's a nice edge. Like, it is a, all the way up to the apex, it is shiny and mirror. It's, it's good. It's um, still, you know, still very, very sharp down the other end where the rope's not touching. But from here onwards, it's uh, rather dull indeed. So... Uh, I'm going to put a workshop edge on it now and see if that gets any better results. Alright, so it's 
got a hair shaving sharp uh, work sharp edge on it, 20 degrees, micro convex, it's now slicing paper really well once again. Um, I guess we'll see uh, if we can do more of this and more of this and see if it improves in any rate. Um, kind of have my doubts, but we'll see. Alright, geez, gallons of sweat coming out of me. It's like 40 degrees and it's like 8 o'clock almost. Um, so yeah, I mean, predictably the workshop edge, like as always has, uh, has lasted less than like the, the perf you know, the nice V grind edge. So it was kind of normal in one regard, as in like the workshop result was lower than the um, Lansky result, as with the slightness steel and with the, all the other steels that I've done the same testing with. Um, but yeah, so this stopped at like 25 and it's just dull as again, like it's... Uh, it's, this is very strange. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try with different types of edges. So I'm going to go toothy edge, which is, you know, often what people say, you're going to have a toothy edge with your high, you know, high hardness steels and stuff. So I'm going to do a toothy edge, which means just finishing with a rough diamond, with a, with a fine diamond stone and not going full polish. So I'll do that and see how that changes things. So what I'm doing is I'm resetting the edge, um, more or less just going over again, but I'm making sure I just do up and down strokes rather than any sort of polishing motion. Um, and I'm just going to stop after the fine diamond, which is probably still about 300 grit or so, maybe 400 grit. Uh, actually, I think it's no, I think it's 500 grit. So um, it's not going to be a mirror polish by any sense, but it should be like a more jagged micro edge. So we'll see if that helps. So I've gone coarse, medium, fine, uh, Lansky stones, diamond stones, and I've stopped at the fine. Uh, it's got quite an imposing edge on it now. Let's have a look. Something to cut. This poker card will do us. Quite an imposing edge. You can really, really just curl the paper. Very, very nice indeed. So, not as pretty, not shiny anymore. Kind of like toolish looking. But it's uh, still 20 degrees and toothy as you would call it. So let's uh, see how that cuts rope. Um, so the toothy edge did make it feel like it was biting in a lot easier and made sort of the cutting feel a lot easier and it did last a fair bit longer. Um, but it is still now dull at, well not dull, like soup. you could still cut open packages and stuff, but it's lost its paper sharpening sharp edge um, after 80 passes still. So that's nowhere near, like the work sharp versions of other D2 have done this. Um, even the Viper Keeper, which I don't have now, it's between here and America somewhere and someone's bought it. Um, it's, um, yeah, that was an underperforming D2 and this appears to be one as well. Um, I don't know, I can't say I didn't give it a fair shake. I mean, I tried about every different edge you can try. Uh, 20 degrees, so 20 degrees is what I always do everything at. So my workshop edges, my um, Lansky edges, even my Tormek edges are usually, Tormek's 20 to 21 degrees because it's kind of hard to see exactly. But um, yeah, so very strange, but I mean, it's just one knife, of course. Um, yes, as I said, still crazy sharp down there. The, the, um, the toothy edge is definitely the way to go with this steel, maybe with all steels, I don't know. But it's, um, yeah, 20 degrees, anything really, work sharp. So micro-convex, mirror polish, or toothy. 
um, the best I could get out of it was 80. So, um, am I doing something wrong? Um, I don't feel like I am because this is just the test that I've been doing forever now. Um, and like my action's the same. I think, my, you know, nothing's different except for the knife and the steel. So, cool. Um, sorry about that. KD, I mean, it's a really, it is the one of the nicer Kizuya knives I've tried before, apart from the flipper tab being a little bit sharp, um, it flips really well, it's on bearings, it's got like either a G10 or a Micarta handle with liners, at good, really good action, nice sort of like slim carry, nice looking knife, and nice sort of handling knife as well, good grip, the cutting grip was fine, I'm a bit knackered because I've done so many rounds of it, but um, yeah, just a bit of a shame, I don't know, could just be the steel, it could be me, but um, yeah, D2 in this example, this Kizilyar D2, um, doesn't seem to be that good. Sorry.